what I'm gonna do today is uh, do a soundtrack tutorial for you and the basics today I'm gonna do a series of them and um, not only was I gonna plan to do this anyway when getting into sound tracker because this was one of the main things which I did on the Amiga back in the day uh, I created a lot of music with it it's also to my surprise it's been requested also so hey cool <laughs> it's been requested quite a lot actually so Back in the day when I got this uh, issue of CU Amiga, which has sound tracker in there, I not only got the cover discs, which uh, are pretty cool because it comes with a complete sound tracker pro program, uh, it also came with something really cool, which is this book here, and uh, it's got so much information about sampling and you know tracker programs and things like that. And I've seen it around on eBay, so if you can find yourself this book, I highly recommend it. And it's for Amiga music makers. It's quite a relic too. So today, what I'm gonna do is go through the basics of this and touch on the basics of uh, how everything works because you kind of need to know how ProTracker modules work then whatever I'm teaching you here can be applied to other programs as well okay, so firstly you're created with the screen with Senor, uh, Senor's face there, <laughs> Marco now the version which is on the cover disc it's version 2.2. .2. You can see here it's 2.4. 2.4 is the latest one. He hasn't made uh, anything after that. So if you have got 2.2, .2, I suggest you get 2.4 because there's a lot of bug fixes and stuff. And there's new stuff too. Like a few new things as well. So that you can get free from Aminet. I will link in the description below. Just before we begin, I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to do throughout these. Uh, what I plan to do is color code you know these um parts these sound tracker parts now this is green today's is the basics it's the green one and the next time is going to be you know another color like the tracker is going to be blue well this tracker here it's going to be blue or red or something whatever i decide at the time and um, that will help you reference so let's say for example some of you are learning something and you're like okay I need to know about this when you know when did in which part did Maddie say this so um, you can you will have more of an idea be like okay the tracker was green then it's part you know two or three or four however many there's gonna be I don't know I didn't plan it I'm just doing this by <laughs> so I'm gonna you know reference it like that because I like everything color coded you know it makes life so much easier for me so I will do that first things first we're gonna learn we're gonna I'm gonna go through the menu system just you know briefly I'm not gonna overload you with every single feature but just so you know you way around okay song this is how you load your song I'm sure many of you know that let's load something and let's load something um, familiar to us or somewhat familiar to um, especially those of you who have long-term um, viewers of my channel you'll recognize this Far World or what I sometimes call Alam Baid and this you will recognize playing in the background in some of my music some of my videos I mean <laughs> okay so we've loaded something here now what the cool thing about this is that can you see this thing here this it's like a pseudo like if you had um, cassettes you had cassettes and you had the auto reverse it's kind of a pseudo auto reverse <laughs> and just like this one next to it is a pseudo Dolby it's not it's just the Amiga filter it's not Dolby as you can see the D's are like inverted <laughs> so it's it's kind of like saying oh we're Dolby no we're a filter really <laughs> and that pressing that actually makes the Amiga's um, power light brighten up because it's the Amiga's filter Okay, so this one, the auto reverse one, means that you can load a another piece of music on the other side. Let's do that. So we uh, let's load. I don't know, flying high, the channel intro. Now, anytime you want, what you can do is um, so the start. What you can do is anytime you want, you can flick between. So if you're, it's handy when you're kind of like you're doing one thing and you want to hear something else, you know, just 
you want to like take a piece from it or maybe you're inspired by it or maybe you're improving on something you know anything so it comes handy having one on the other side of the you know on side b i should say kind of thing like an order reverse so that's loading a piece of music very simple to save it of course it will save right over it you know it, you do this and let's do it because we haven't changed anything you press save files it'll override it unless you want to if you don't want to override it i want to have to delete this later on there's no delete in this so i'll have to go somewhere else but if you want to save it as another separate file just put two at the end of this and you save it and you will see here at the bottom far world far world 2 that's the one you just saved okay that's very easy now then sample we'll go into a little later on just a little later on Preferences are your, uh, I don't know what this workbench one is. I'm not sure exactly what that does. Maybe I'll look into it. Follow song, I think it's like, it stops it. So if you don't want to see this going up, why why would you not want to see it? <laughs> but just in case you don't, it's that's the option is there. So autoplay song, autoplay song is as soon as you load the song, it'll play it like for example if I just yeah, so flying high see it plays it automatically now if I were to undo that and take that loads far world and stays there it does not play automatically that's what that is disk uh, I have not messed around with these okay I've file multi select okay this one you can if you wanna if you don't want the files to be multi-selected, like you select this one and you select the other one, it will not you you have no chance of multi-selecting. You can like you can only select one. So if you then put that as shift always always, that means you can play more than one. So if I do the cool thing about this is I can do a jukebox mode. So we have flying high, power world, and let's see, which other one do you know? Jazeera. Jazeera. Oh, that's the first ever one I did. Oh my god. It's like... Okay, so I've selected three. Jazeera. Flying High. And Far World, yeah? So you click on them. It loads all three in jukebox mode. And you cannot do anything. Absolutely nothing. The only thing you can do is stop it and go to the next song. Or go to the next song. Okay, so press forward. Now, once after the first song is finished, the first piece of music is finished, first mod is finished, the next one will come on, and then the next one. So you can, you know, select whatever you want to listen to, do a jukebox, do your own thing, and this will be playing through all your songs. And that's the cool thing about it. It's like a playlist kind of thing, if you want to call it that. And you stop, and it stops it, and it comes out of jukebox mode. Press stop comes out of jukebox mode. So it'll, what you'll have to do is just select them all again, look through them all again. So we have now display, and that's just the colors. Uh, you can show the view meters or not the view meters right at the bottom. If you look at the bottom, switches them off. Why would you want that off? Why would you not want view meters? View meters rule. I love them. <laughs> right, so track, this is how you change your colors on a track like. The pre that's the preferences. Speed. Let's do the other one for the speed. Now you can... Okay, with the speed, what you have to realize is that the higher you go... The, the lower number it is. See, that's how my mind has learned it now from the beginning. <laughs> the lower number you go, the faster it gets. The higher number you go, you see it's in hexadecimal, 1 to 9 and A to F. That's all hexadecimal is. And everything here works in hexadecimals, not the normal number system. You get the message. And here. And this is more of a fine tuning. This, can you see the CIPAR count? This is more of a fine tuning. If you if you select this to up, if you keep going up, it'll get slower.
and that's fine tuning. And on top of that, you can make it even slower. So the slowest it'll ever go. How slow do you go, dude? Ah, uh, by the way, to make it go that fast, you press both the mouse buttons. That's how you make it go that fast. This just keep going. Okay, eight thousand. Jeez, that's slow. Why would you want that? But it's there. <laughs> okay, so you're wondering, okay, what the freak number it was before? How do I get back to it? Yeah. All you need to do is, can you see the CIA PR count? Yeah. You just press that, and it goes to the default where it was. Similarly, the minus, negative, whatever it is, will take it faster. And that only goes to 400. And obviously, that's going stupidly fast. But I don't know why you wouldn't want that either, but you've got the option if you want it. And um, yeah, so that's how you set it. And again, default is you click on the CIPR account. That's it. Cool. That's that. Edit is if you wish if you wish to um, obviously cut copy paste add yeah now one two three four these are these tracks one two three four and P is all of them yeah now let's this one here yeah. Let's say we want to copy, for example, we want to copy this. You don't want to do. I'll name this to two, just in case it accidentally saved it on top of my precious file. <laughs> I don't want to have any accidents, so two. We'll keep it safe, yeah? Um, right, so we want to copy this. I'm going to copy it to this, yeah? So we go into copy number two and paste number four there we go so we have now you want to cut that cool cut it yeah but the you cannot recall the other one back again it's gone that's the thing with sound tracker there's no undo so you cannot make a mistake and say, oh no, what did I just do? You've lost it. So you're going to have to do it again. Or if you go in the auto reverse, auto reverse, with auto reverse, and load the original file in that, and your new file, you're working on it, what you can do is go into the auto reverse thing, copy it from there, back into this, and paste it into this one, back again. That's how that auto reverse is useful. So that's that. I hope you're following. <laughs> right, so that's the copy paste, all that thing. Ignore all this because that's the pattern length of these and we don't want to screw around with this. So we have the MIDI section. What the freak happened to the keyboard? Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, the keyboard is fine now. Okay, that is the MIDI settings you have here. I do not understand MIDI so much. The only thing I, I understand most is um, to use it as, you know, use the MIDI controller. Yeah, that's the only thing. And to activate that, to activate that, for some reason you do this. And then MIDI on. Yeah, and that will activate if you've connected a MIDI keyboard to it or a MIDI controller it doesn't have to have sounds of its own it's just a controller controlling everything you do on sound tracker so that will just activate that providing it's connected of course <laughs> so let's load okay let's let's load blue stars uh, this is from a demo a really old demo I think and um, or maybe music demo or something like this Anyway, it's it's a great tune. It's one of the first ones I collected in the first discs. And uh, yeah, I've got fun memories of that. Okay, so what you do is in MISC, miscellaneous, um, playing time, you want to know the playing time, just click that and it calculates it all for you. And flush, I have no idea what that is. No, I'm not sure what flush is. I'm going to have to look up that. 
and uh, clear song will clear the entire thing clear patterns will clear all the data can you see all this clear patterns clears all this data but the samples are left so you'll have nothing here I have no song so you're gonna have to create it no create whatever it comes in handy if you want to create another song with the same samples you do you know clear patterns however if you do clear song it clears the patterns and it clears the samples basically giving you a clean slate you start all over again and if you're searching for the help if you're like help I want you know to be free <laughs> from this mad lemon <laughs> well no if you want to be um, if you want uh, if you want to be free I mean if you want <laughs> I was gonna say that by accident <laughs> if you want um, to know something question mark you can go through the um, yeah everything tells you everything here so this is a help document so I've done an overview of the menu system um, what I'm gonna do now is explain or show you how a tracker works you know like what other parts are there okay so first things first over here we have blocks yeah blocks is each of these things you know you see it go up and then you see it go to the next one that is one block we go around the block one time <laughs> that's exactly a good way to remember it I'm going around the block so um, you have zero to 0 to 63 which makes 64 lines yeah pattern length keep it at 64 you can change it as I showed you earlier on you can change it but don't don't because <laughs> it's calculated just right now what you can do is you can have 100 maximum 127 blocks yeah you're not gonna ever need that many unless you're creating a freaking huge long song you're not gonna need that many <laughs> let's go into the sample part you slide your mouse the edge of the screen and it rolls into the sample part which is what I love about this and um, you have sample bank here again hexadecimal numbers 0 to 9 and then A to F and then starts 10 again yeah so it's like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 A B C D E F and then 10 to 19 1A 1B 1C 1 and then 2 and so on that's hexadecimal and it's actually very simple once you get used to that extra parts being there the extra letters being there it'll be fine okay so you can have a lot of samples you know you can have uh, and everything I think everything around here you press both your mouse buttons you can it goes faster yeah just one mouse button slower press the other one it zooms through yeah Let's load one sample. So sample, yeah, it's exactly the same way as song works, yeah. But make sure this thing says so song, uh, sound, yeah. If you want to load samples, and song if you want to load songs. Don't get that confused. Make sure this is right, yeah. So we go into sample here, and let's go into let's put the confusion, music, samples, and we have all these, and. You can load it here into the chip memory or the fast memory. Sounds like a pro can do that. So let's load an, a sort of beat, like a drum, yeah? Just a kick, just a kick drum. Kick drum, bass drum, freaking same thing. What the freak? The first thing I load is like corrupt. <laughs> what are the freaking odds of that? Cool, yeah? <laughs> Normal one. Everything is goofy like me. Okay, okay, we have a snare now, yeah? Uh, we uh, find the snare now, yeah? Snare. Darn, we need to kind of... I need to refine these. Let's do a shaker. And by the way, the keys on your keyboard, if you want something begin with A, you press A. Well, there's no A in this, so it'll go to B. C. So you don't have to keep scrolling all the way down, yeah? And if you press your right, again, if you press your right mouse button on this, not the left, the right, it zooms past it. Left mouse button clicks on it. Right mouse button zooms past it. This is such basic stuff. I'm sure you can figure it out yourself. Let's go to S and select shaker. That's the one. 
Okay. So we have, um, let's create, I don't know, just like a very simple. Today it's just going to be simple stuff. Not the, you know. And every alternate one. How do you think I did that just right? Just like that. I'm not hearing for an answer, by the way, because I know you cannot answer right now because I'm recording it and no one knows what I'm doing this. <laughs> How I know is... Okay, let's go on the second one. Ignore the first one again. Let's do it again. One. Notice it's in the other side. And can you see at the top that C3 at the top? Yeah, this here. Notice the moment it disappears, one, then you do another one. Can you see there? C3, C3. Yeah, that's how I do it. I've done it visually like that. I don't know which numbers they are. To this day, I don't know which line number it is. I just do it by that. I look at... Is it just above? Yeah, now I'll do it. Is it just above? Yeah, now I'll do it. Yeah. That's how I've always done it. So that's how I... Let's uh, go into edit. Again, edit. To edit all this. And we don't want this. Yeah, we don't want the second one. Because we already have a first one here. Yeah. So what you want to do is... Number two. Cut. And it's gone. Yeah. It's gone forever. Can I call it back? Actually, you can't. If you press paste. But if you cut that and cut something else, it won't come back. So, we have that. Um, let's add the shaker. Can you see what I'm doing? Well, you couldn't see what I'm doing. Do you understand what I'm doing? That's what I meant. <laughs> It's kind of just, it's visual. That's all I'm doing. I cannot calculate all this. I'm just doing it visually. And we created the beat, just like that. Now, actually, let's load a hi hat also. Okay, so we want to create. Can you see this? This here? Next block, yeah? Let's create another beat. And again, do it visually. Yeah. So you miss one, do another one. Just to make it distinctive. So you have Now let's do the third one, the third block. One, two, three. Yeah. What you want to do now is let's say you don't, you want to, you don't want to like keep doing the, you know, again. What you want to do is go back to one. Yeah. Go to edit, which you're already here. Because what I want to do is I want to copy the entire block, the entire one, two, three, four, all of them. Yeah. Now go back. Now, can you see this P here? Yeah. P, copy. Let's copy it, all of them. Everything. One, two, three, four. The next one, we'll press paste. And everything is here. So it's copied the entire block onto another block. Yeah. Okay, so we have this. Yeah, and let's add something extra to the um, third one. Mm, just click on W because I'm gonna add a wood block. This one's freaking rubbish. No. That's the one. Okay, so 
we have this? Yeah? Right. Now, if you want to play it in sequence, this, this thing P will just play the same block again and again and again. And the Libra stuff, yeah? So you can go to the other one. And this P will just keep playing it. Now, how to play these in sequence? You have to program the sequence, yeah? And what these play in. Now, to program the sequence, we have our friend over here. Can you see on the top uh, right? We have a friend there. And um, that will, what you need to do is decide the length of your song, of your music or your piece or whatever. Uh, if you select it to three, it will end at two and it will go back to the beginning on two, yeah? So it's just like three is where it ends. So if you want it, if you want like, you know, four patterns, so then you just do that. So it ends at four and starts again. Okay, so can you see here? Over here. Okay, let's just do that so you can see the mouse cursor clear. Yeah, this blue thing here. <laughs> so you have um, <clears throat> the block number here. So it's zero at the moment, and zero is this. Yeah. Now I want to play zero once. Yeah, once. Then I want to play block one. I want to play this once. Yeah. So what you do is, block zero is already zero, yeah? And on the next one, you want to play block one, yeah? So you put, you click a one there. Hmm? And it'll play zero, you'll play this. So you play it in sequence, that's... If you do that, it will just keep playing the same block, whatever block is selected, yeah? But if you do S, plays the sequence. S for sequence, it plays this thing, yeah? So you have this. Look at the top bar. So can you see it played number one now? You can see these changing back again, these here. Now it'll just keep playing zero because I haven't programmed any of it. Now let's say I want to play block number two next. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I want to play block number two again. So I want to play this block number two repeated twice. So, and on four it ends. So let's play this all the way through. Then it plays it again. And look at the top one. At four, it will start at the beginning again. Until you move this length up, it will end at five now. It will start at the beginning when it reaches five. So what is happening now? And it plays zero again because you haven't programmed that. So let's program and it starts again. Now let's program this at one. Uh, one again. I'm gonna play one back again. So you can you can start any way you want as long as you press the S. Yeah. Okay, so you have over here you have your blocks here. You have different blocks, however many you, you wish to have. It's like having lots of blocks. You create the patterns on the blocks, whatever song you want, whatever beat you want, you know, however and then after that with this top thing here, you create the order. So what you're doing is you're saying, okay, I want block one to play first, and then I want block three to play next, and then I want block four, and then block five, and then block eight, or block one again after eight. You know, you're programming your order, and that's it. That's how a music module works. Okay, before we finish off, let's look at uh, one of my one of my pieces of music. This is Poder de la Luz. And um, I've uploaded this, by the way, onto SoundCloud just very recently. And I will give the link in the dis I will put the link in the description below. And um, let's start it. Now you can see the blocks here. Yeah, for the blocks over here, you can see I've done a lot with this. It just happens. You automatically do it without realizing it. Don't let this intimidate you. Uh, but the as you go along creating your song, all this happens without even realizing. But you have, you know, different things on different blocks. Yeah? Now, here you can see that my length is 40. And 
and you have you know how all this uh, you know block 19 comes after block 18 then block 1 then block 20 then block 2 3 it's kind of I've done the same thing so uh, let's kind of uh, examine this Yes, I wrote it in 99. Wow. It doesn't feel like that long ago. It's crazy. So, if you have understood everything what I've done today, if you've got your head around it, then that's it. You're... That's what the all there is to a music module. That's the basic structure, the skeletal structure of a music module. And this can be applied not just here, but also to Pro Tracker or Octomed or any other thing you want to use. Lemon Tracker, Lemon Tracker, no. Melon Tracker. <laughs> it's Mad Melon. And Milky Tracker or freaking whatever this Tomato Tracker. <laughs> I don't know if there is one or not, but. And that is. Yeah, that can be applied there. That can be applied there. You know, all this, this stuff. Um, and next time, what I'm going to do is the skeletal structure, just add some meat to the bones, yeah? <laughs> because uh, what I'm going to do is go through some of the commands and things like this. We've gone through the basics in today's, and um, I think that's enough. You know, so if you have any questions or anything like this, or anything in... Um, you know that you didn't understand clearly about this video others and if you do have suggestions on what you want to uh, learn in future videos then do leave your thoughts in the comments either way and uh, I will fit in what I do because I haven't actually planned these I'm just doing it as I I'm doing it as I feel I've got a blank canvas and I'm like throwing paint at it different colors this 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 and you know that's how I'm doing it so it's not the uh, official way of making tutorials. I don't know how to do that. I just do it how I feel is right. So anyway, enough of jib-jab. <laughs> I will let you go now. And I hope you found uh, today's um, video useful and enjoyable. And uh, I hope you, look for, you join me next time. So for now, I will say thanks so much for your likes your shares, do leave your thoughts in the comments below, that is important. I need your feedback too in this. And um, good feedback. <laughs> and, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. And it's something I say all the time. Yeah. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. <laughs> it's late, midnight. Oh, quarter past midnight. <laughs> right, so for now, for now, I will say adios. Ah. Having tea at midnight. Ooh, ended just in time. Adios. <laughs>